Sometimes these hernias close on their own. So when somebody identifies an umbilical hernia at the age group of one, I am Dr. Deepak Subramanian from Chennai Gastro Care. Can hernia occur in children? Yes, it very much can. So there's an entity called as congenital hernias. That is, hernias can occur from birth itself. Now, especially in males, our both our testicles, they descend from inside the abdomen and they go into the scrotum during the time when we are in our mother's uterus. Now, when that happens, sometimes the part of the abdominal wall, that is the peritoneum, can get pulled along with the testis in few people. When that happens, that is a congenital inguinal hernia. Now, many children come to us at the age group of two, three, four, saying that they feel like, you know, the, the parents come to us saying that they feel a swelling in the groin. Now, that's a classical congenital hernia, which they have identified, which is there since birth, but they've identified it at that particular age. Now, all that is required for these children is a very, very minor surgery called, we just remove that, as I told you, the part that comes along, pulled along with the testicles, that part is called as a hernial sac, and we just excise that sac and do what is called as a laparoscopic herniotomy or just excising that sac. The other aspect is some children are born with a belly button hernia, a small belly button hernia, which, you know, parents identify at the age of when they are young itself, even at, at birth or at the age of six months, one year sometimes. So for umbilical hernia, sometimes when the child grows up to an age group of three, four, five, sometimes these hernias close on their own. So when somebody identifies an umbilical hernia at the age group of one, we generally tell the parents, just wait. Don't do anything. No surgery required. Nothing needed. Let the child grow. Sometimes these hernias close on its own. So what we technically do is when we tell the children and then when they come back after five years, if they still persist to have a hernia, a very minor surgery may be required depending upon how big the hernia is, how big the size of the hernial defect is and we take a call accordingly at that particular point of time. Thank you.